been trying for ages and I can't get any music to play. Oh, it's a HEPA filter. Um, yeah, HEPA filter. High efficiency particulate air, essential for clean rooms in general and also for creating unidirectional airflow, as in a vertical supply of air moving at high velocity and very, very fast. So let's have a look at unidirectional airflow. Hello, <clears throat> Tim Sandal back with you with another video about things to do with clean rooms. And this week's video is all about unidirectional air flow, which is essential for maintaining contamination control in the most critical zone within the clean room. So, what is unidirectional air? Well, it's air that's flowing in a relatively straight, unimpeded path. And it's this controlled flow of air moving in one direction with a consistent velocity in approximate parallel streamlines that helps to sweep away contamination and create the clean air space. And it's the design of the air passing through the HEPA filters with a mesh-like structure that helps to direct these air jets downwards, so they get vertical flow, and create this straight air path. And we can contrast this movement with turbulent air. So there's a representation of turbulent air on the slide. So here we've got lots of air mixing, and we haven't got air moving in one direction in those nice parallel strokes. So this is great for maintaining uh, contamination control where there's people in the surrounding room but within the aseptic core within the grade A or ISO class 5 area we want to achieve unidirectional airflow. And this is provided through HEPA filters. So unidirectional airflow utilizes HEPA filters and this is to filter and clean all air entering the environment. And these are often composed of stainless steel materials to ensure that the number of particles entering the facility remains low. So it's the stainless steel mesh that helps the filters to maintain themselves as leak free and also the filter medium itself. So it's really important that we're not getting unclean air leaking from voids around the side. We've got that nice secureness and we've also got the action of the HEPA filter and we've covered HEPA filters on previous videos and you get an idea of that elimination steps of contamination as shown on this slide there. Okay, so also with the unidirectional airflow concept we have the unidirectional airflow concept is ensuring that air flows only in one direction the one best way, someone might say. <clears throat> and this lessens the possibility of particles being misdirected and landing on product contact surfaces or even inside vials. And we use utilise this kind of vertical um, concept. So air is directed from the top of the clean zone to the bottom, ensuring that any particles being generated from a person carrying out an intervention or from some other source are pushed out and they don't land where they're not supposed to land. And vital to this concept is speed. So we maintain this by having a relatively fast air flow and air velocity of target 0.45 meters per second plus or minus 20% which in reality is 0.36 to 0.54. And also we want to make sure that the airspeed across a HEPA filter is uniform. And by uniform that's within plus or minus 15% of each value. And we measure the speed in metres per second and we assess that below the filter face around 6 inches and then at the working height. 
and working height is defined as a space just above vials. Another important concept with unidirectional airflow is that we want to make sure that there's non-turbulent streams of airflow and we get these nice parallel lines and this is effective for removal of particulate contamination from the controlled area. And it's this uniformity and lack of turbulence that keeps airstreams from mixing with contaminated airstreams. So, the other important concept you can see from this next image, which is from an airflow study, so it's a typical airflow study using a smoke curtain, as you'd find carried out in, in, in the facility, is that the design intent is that air should make a single pass through the grade A zone with a piston-like effect. And this also helps to reduce eddies, stale air, airflow velocity variances, anything that might cause particles to drop out of the air and cause a problem. Okay, so thank you for your attention. This short video is designed to introduce the unidirectional airflow concept, which is critical for the grade A and ISO class 5 area. So thank you for watching. My name's Tim Sandal and I'll be back with you with another video very soon. Good luck with the rest of your day and your working shift. Goodbye.